Come along with me for some presidential history. Hello, my friends, and welcome to Tom's Tinkering and Adventures. Coming to you today from the Richard Nixon Presidential Library. I happen to find myself up here in the uh, Orange County area today, about 100 miles away from my home. And um, I was trying to figure out something to do. I need to uh, take care of a few hours here, waiting for something else to happen. And, um, you know, I saw this uh, sign off the highway several years ago. And I've always been curious about it. Never been to a presidential library before. Uh, I've been to a few presidential events in my uh, long and storied past, but I've uh, never been to a presidential library. And whether or not uh, you agree with the politics of whichever president it is, it's always very cool to be at a presidential event or a, uh, imagine a presidential library. Now, I don't know how much uh, photography or video will be allowed inside. I imagine photography will, video may or may not. But we will see, and uh, hopefully I can give you a little bit of a taste of what this is about. And uh, if you're ever in the uh, Los Angeles area, you can come check this place out. But I haven't even gotten in here yet, so let's see what that's all about. Really cool replica of the uh, Oval Office. There you go. Have a seat at the chair up there. Feel the power. Really cool seal up there. Yeah, the presidential seal up there, the one on the part that will match. The uh, um, stars are different. These are five point stars. Those look like this star, but they're famous. Yeah, it's famous. President Nixon and his wife were not really bird watchers, but they really enjoyed birds. So they had these birds in the Oval Office. Each area is about uh, a little different historical things that happen during his presidency, so this is about a uh, visit to China. So, besides all the positive things he did, of course, there was the uh, Watergate scandal. And uh, they don't hide the fact here. And of course, President Nixon was a Navy man, such as myself. We have demonstrations, thousands of them. Well, I guess if you're a Nixon fan, you got a lot of reading to do. on an absolutely beautiful Southern California day. I head out here and check out the garden area. I guess there is a Marine One helicopter out here as well. And I think ahead of us is a replica of his birthplace home. We'll take a look at it. But 
If you're in one of those states where you got snow right now, go ahead and eat your heart out. Okay, they give a real nice and quick tour of this home, which is the original home Richard Nixon was born and raised in. He was actually born in this home. Uh, had no electricity, no running water. It had two very small bedrooms and there was five boys. Um, one of them died at a young age, about six or seven. And his older brother died at about age 20. So they did have four boys living in a two-bedroom house. They did convert the attic into a place for the boys to sleep. Very interesting. And now we'll go check out uh, Marine 2 that's over here. Now here's something I can really get behind. Being as I worked most of my Navy career on helicopter platforms. Pretty familiar with these. I did not work on H3s, but I worked right around them several times. And uh, amazingly enough, they still use this model of helicopter. Although there's a couple different ones they use. Uh, it's been around a long time, the old H3. The uh, presidential one is a bit different than the one that we used to use in the Navy. Southern California sun shining down here on Marine 2. Excuse the umbrella here. This one was the one that was actually used by Richard Nixon and uh, President Ford. I think all the way up to Jimmy Carter they actually used this exact helicopter, which they then semi-restored and brought here. A little tour inside, but there was no photography. It's pretty interesting in there, very much 1970s, kind of velour seats and such. Oh, there you go. So it started with Kennedy, Johnson, Nixon, and Ford for this, hel this helicopter here. Some poor soul gonna give his life away over here. I'm just kidding. Looks like it's a uh, wedding rehearsal. I guess they do weddings here as well. And this is the first lady's rose garden here. It smells really nice. Beautiful flowers, of course. Really cool um, Apollo 11 exhibit here as well. It's President Nixon calling the moon. There's his telephone calling the moon. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but sometimes cell phones, you can't call someone uh, two houses away. I don't know where we've gone in this world when. Uh, you can call the moon from that bad boy. There you go, Navy saving the day again. And just a photo of the uh, Apollo 11 retrieval. Well, what a beautiful day. What an awesome place to go check out. If you find yourself down here in the uh, Yorba Linda area in Southern California, set aside a little bit of time. Come check this out really matter what your uh, political ideology is. Um, it's very interesting. A lot of good history here. And, uh, they definitely cover all facets of Richard Nixon's life, including the, uh, you know, the good and the bad. If you like what I'm putting out, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider doing so. Thank you very much for watching. Get out there and find your adventure. Adios.